Hi there. Uh, Bar here. Visiting with you all, making sure I'm in camera. This is how I uh, use a camera. Again, got those gimpy arms. They don't quite go all the way. You gotta improvise. This is a uh, broom handle here with a, uh, a threaded screw that has a bolt on one side and a screw on the other it's screwed in and that goes into the base of the camera with a little leather washer to hold it all in place. Uh, I'm back today to show you what I'm working on for my newer knife projects. Uh, I'll start with the less cool one. This here is uh, one of those there uh, bug case specials. Let's see if I can zoom in here and get that good. And I took the uh, handle off, as you can see, and uh, I'm uh, working on putting a new edge on it, took all the paint off of it. But now you know what it looks like underneath that plastic. Uh, this is a very, very popular, very cheap knife, about $2.95. So it's a great piece of steel to practice with, and you know, if you screw up, gosh knows you're not going to feel bad about it. Uh, oh, there I am again. And I have my next project I'm working on. But wait a second, Bart. That's just an ordinary kitchen knife. Oh, but is it? Yes, this here ordinary kitchen knife is going to be a push dagger and a very simply designed. Warncliffe knife or a Kiridashi point knife there with a short handle. So the black is, is I'm going to be cutting it off. Gives you a feel for what's going on here. Uh, this is like a $2.95 uh, cent knife from Joblot. And uh, can you see it in there okay? Yeah, it's a little dark, but you can see it. And uh, the handle broke off, and I wanted these two style of knives for myself, so I said this is a great way to practice, and uh, I have the free steel, I don't have to spend any money. I'm going to switch hands here. Whoa, getting dizzy. Anyway, as you mentioned last time, I'm an artist, so I'll show you. Uh, here's some of my paintings. I'm going to kind of come in here and zoom in. Go up here a little bit. Uh, I do like working with a watercolor and colored pencil, although I've painted plenty in acrylics, oil paints, uh, many, many, many other paints. Come in here a little bit close. Try to hold this still. Get you a nice pan here. You can see what's going on. I'm all about drawing, I'm all about the line, generally speaking. That's the kind of stuff that I really, really, really enjoy is uh, line work. And I tend to kind of have this soft, washed out tapestry look. At least that's how I describe it to a lot of my paintings. This one here has one of my favorite faces on it that I've ever done. And then... Oh my god, it's an old man! Now this is my buddy Jay here, Jay Jarrell. Say hi to the camera, Jay. How you doing? Where are you from, Jay? What state? West Virginia. West Virginia. Never would have guessed. <laughs> no. Just a good old, uh, Jay here, he's a good old boy from West Virginia. He, he's as good as they get. And uh, in here, we have the grand kitchen remodel here. That's my father down the floor. You can see we're doing the uh, white counters, uh, gray tile, gray paint. It's going to look really, really sweet. Just a quick pan around. And up here on the wall, I have a few more of my paintings. These are some uh, silly cartoon kind of drawings I did. But I thought they went well with the gray paint and kind of something light and silly for this new wall. There we go, this one here. I have no idea how these are reading on the TV or on the computer that screen that you're watching it, but that's okay. You can take a look, and there you go. There's a, this is a Teen Titans, Raven, and Starfire, kind of silly. And down here is one of Raven, 
uh, getting blitzed on vodka, just in case you're wondering what that would look like. All right, we're going to come back here to the mirror. Not saying that I'm all that much to look at, but hey, you might as well know who that disembodied voice is, right? It's Bart Boss, that's right. And, uh, whoa, why are you turning away from the camera? Uh, I'll tell you why, because I have one last weapon to show you, this little silly thing here I made. I didn't get to show this in another video, this is going to be what I close on. This is a little homemade piece of silliness, it's a very thin half inch dowel, three feet long, and it is uh, covered with razor blades at the end. I'll hold it up here against the white paint so you can get a decent look at it. But. Uh, definitely get a nice uh, visceral quality to it. All right, this is where it's going to end. I hope you have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Whoop.